Hi there, this is Janae Jackson. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to move your contacts from your current email marketing provider over to go high level. All right, so I'm here in Flowdesk and from your home dashboard, you're going to go over to audience. Then you're going to be able to see all of your subscribers. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see you have 2,209 total contacts. We want to go ahead and download a CV, a CSV file of these contacts so that we can move them over into your CRM. We do that by heading over to where it says segments. And you're going to see that you have all of your different segments here. But really what we want to do is we're going to start with all subscribers, downloading, downloading all of the subscribers in all of the segments, and then I'll be able to go back in again and do it by the important segments, like your clients. Obviously, we'd want to tag the people in this segment as clients. And let's see what else may be significant. The one that I see that is most significant are your past clients. If you want to send out a, a specific email blast for just your past clients, you can do so, which we'll do at the end. So here where it says all subscribers, we're going to go here. We're going to just hit download CSV. And we're exporting your subscribers. Once the file is completed, we'll email you a link so you can download your file. All right, so I got the email with the contacts. So I'm going to go ahead and click to download. And then there you can see I have the CSV of all of the contacts. I'm going to come over here into the CRM. I'm going to go to contacts, contacts. And then up at the top here, there will be an option to import contacts. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to ask, uh, the file must be CSV. Perfect. I'm going to go to my download, subscribers, go ahead and hit enter. And then it's going to ask for you to sort out the different fields that's coming over from the old marketing email marketing company so in the document this is how it reads and then we the crm here wants to know how we want it actually to be filed so let's just go ahead and look here how she has it so here you can see the first name is indeed first name. Last name is indeed last name. Source. Manual upload. So this really for me is insignificant going forward. So we can really leave that blank. Uh, confirmed or unsubscribed. Now, confirmed for me is insignificant. However, if they've unsubscribed, this is important to know. So we can create a tag for the field that says status. So we'll create a tag that either says confirmed or unsubscribed. So they've either, either confirmed being added to this email list or they have subscribed or we have bounced here. Let's create that as a tag. Created at, is this so significant? Let's see. They're all about the same, 2020. So, I mean, if they're all exactly the same, I would say that's insignificant. Segments, we can make these a uh, tag. But I actually think I'm going to pass on that. It's not necessary. IP address is not necessary. These dates and times, unnecessary going forward. 
So that's really it. I'm not going to create a field for these documents in the, this field in the document, in the CSV document. We're just going to go ahead and continue. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Email. Did we say manual? No, the source. We also wanted to just leave blank. Let's double check. Yeah, whether it's manual upload, insignificant. So we just need the email. Why does it keep wanting to add the source? Let's go ahead and make it a tag. Then and first name, last name, email address. And there's no other contact information here. So let's go ahead and continue. If an existing contact is in the spreadsheet, we want to update them with the data, but only for the fields that are empty. Yes. Let's do that. And we don't need to add any tags because I've already added the ones from the CSV fields that I want to. So let's go ahead and upload. These 2,209 contacts into the CRM. All right, and we're back. So it has finished uploading the 2,209 contacts. Let's just double check. So let's refresh the contact page. Let's just refresh it here. And then we can see the contacts that she had in there before, plus the additional ones that we added. Let's just double check the number. Yeah, I thought it was 2,209. So it's obviously not finished uploading yet. So just give it a few minutes. 1381, when we refresh, that number will have gone up. Yeah, you can see they're still moving over. So let's just give it a few more minutes to move everything on over. And you can see the number is still increasing. So it's still processing. You have to just give it some time. But we can see who has confirmed being added to the email subscription list and who has unsubscribed. So we're going to want to make sure to add these people that are unsubscribed to make sure that they're not in the campaign. We can also add them to a do not disturb list where any of the communication that we send out, text messages, email blasts, things like that, they will not receive it. But that is how you move contacts over from your current email sus subscriber, um, whether that be MailChimp or anything else over into your CRM.